I'm Sushma Ivan, PSA, and um, just playing Tales from the Borderlands. I'm a big fan of the Telltales games. I thought I'd try this game. Um, I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Let's play. It's not very impressive, is it? It looks kind of slow for some reason. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora. We're told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves, filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. <laughs> He ran the corporation Hyperia, and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Ah, uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends... Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Not very impressive for a start, but let's give it a go. Is there some sort of radiation leak? I don't know about it. Where exactly are we going? I ask the questions. Okay, then, uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? Oh! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on Eden. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person, so just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I 
guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. It's not about money, Vaughn. It's about the respect it gets you. Yeah, you know who talks like that? Poor people that no one likes. Respect, it's nice, you know, but it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Get your priorities straight. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now, because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red, I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You'll look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. Well, congratulations on your promotion. I love what you've done with the office. Going for the whole minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, Reese. And men. Real men like me. Make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. Your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man.
Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, cool, listen. I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh. Yeah, 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 no, but... Do you want the money or not? Because I... It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. It's a working day, August, and I just got this promotion. Gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, right. Now, what were we talking about? before we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, I think it was something about buying a vault key, right? Oh, just like that. Buying a vault key, right? You're like a kid sounding out the words. All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No, no, no you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. I've had to do worse in my career. That's the spirit, Reese. Nothing teaches you humility faster than scrubbing toilets. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can empty. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't.